How the Elephant Was Born. Oh, ho, ho, hey, how did that get in there? Uh, sorry, let's start over. How the Deflate the Elephant campaign was born. There was a time when shock tactics like toe tags and body bags worked well. Messages like, drink and drive and you'll die, used to do the trick. Not anymore. Everyone knows you shouldn't let a friend drink and drive. Our target audience finds heavy-handed tactics manipulative. The message isn't relevant to them because it doesn't solve their problem, which is embarrassment. By the way, our target might surprise you. It's not 19 to 24 year olds. The problem is the 40 something year old living in the suburbs. And it's not just men. Research showed us that female drinking and driving was on the rise. So we needed to speak to women directly too. Well, those who would listen. In the past, the LCBO in partnership with MAD had skillfully provided practical solutions for people to stop their friends from drinking and driving. But now we were armed with a powerful new insight. We needed to tackle the fear of embarrassment. What we needed to do was develop a property, an idea for the LCBO that acted as social shorthand. It needed to symbolize the embarrassment people felt when faced with the need to speak up when a friend who has had one drink too many wants to get behind the wheel. It needed to encourage them to act. We needed to take this property everywhere, but no preaching allowed. That's how the elephant was born. Wait, not that one. Uh, nope, keep going. Nope, nope, next. That's not even an elephant. Uh, no, no, wait. There it is. Nice, huh? It had what we needed. The notion of communicating what we cannot ignore. Yes, that one. The elephant in the room. It was the perfect metaphor. It was attention getting, dramatic, and very, very large. Better still, it could work across all channels. Yeah, no, you guys are gonna get going. <laughs> You're driving? Yeah, and I'm fine. Drinking and driving should never be the elephant in the room. Speak up, you could save a life. A message from the LCBO. We'll carpool tomorrow. We'll carpool tomorrow. Yeah. I'm out of here. Jen's picking you up. Drive it. Drinking and driving should never be the elephant in the room. Speak up, you could save a life. A message from the LCBO. Wednesday night hockey, right? We also wanted to start a dialogue, create a space to have a conversation. So we used the elephant to drive people online for more information. We created deflatetheelephant.com, a one-stop source for information on responsible hosting. We offered tips and tools, and even a chance to practice intervention tactics through simulated hosting situations. And this holiday season, we also created our free Speak Up iPhone app. So you can send pre-recorded messages to guests, reminding them to plan how they're going to get home safely or make the offer of arranging a cab. This app also provides users with a handy menu of dozens of non-alcoholic mocktails. And our Facebook page encouraged everyone to take a pledge against drinking and driving. Hundreds signed up. But did the elephant work? Well, after four weeks of TV, awareness built to 38% and brand link hit 60%. 85% said it clearly communicated its objectives, 81% said the elephant effectively communicated their embarrassment, and 74% found it an entirely appropriate way of conveying our message. We've garnered over 21,000 unique visits to deflatetheelephant.com, and over 1,100 people have downloaded the Speak Up iPhone app. Our Facebook page has 1,120 active users, and the campaign has achieved over 60,000 stream impressions. It created buzz province-wide, resulting in a cascade of publicity, as well as a congratulatory letter from the Premier. So, did it work? Yes. 88% said the Deflate the Elephant campaign actually convinced them to change their behavior and speak up. So, some final thoughts we'd like to leave you with. When you have a mature subject, a long-standing social issue like drinking and driving, it's important to seek and leverage new learning. Be open to a fresh approach. Consider humor versus shock. Provide useful tools to forward your cause. Start a dialogue. Think integrated. Think big. Really big. And never ignore the elephant in the room. <laughs>